everybody. Today we're going to do a tuna mornay. It's a kid friendly dish. Again, Merrily, Western Zone Shorts. Very proud of where I come from. Hello, everybody at home. Okay, so we've got tuna mornay today. You can see all the ingredients today. Except uh, on the left hand side, I've got our rice, and I'll put that on in a minute for you with a boiled kettle. Over here, we've got tuna, butter, plain flour, milk, cheese. I'm going to use a whisk to do the mornay sauce in. All quite simple, and as I said, kids will love this dish. It's very tasty for them. First of all, we're going to do the rice in the microwave today. So, about a cup and a half of rice for everyone. Just see how much rice you want. Well, well done, David. Couldn't even do that if I tried. Herbs and spices, so just some parsley, salt and pepper. Nice and simple. I've got the microwave over here ready to go at 18 minutes for, the, for this particular um, amount of rice. I love cooking rice in lots of water. I know a lot of people use absorption, I don't. I reckon it's better this way. I like it lovely and fluffy. I'm not a big fan of absorption myself. So I stir that through. Okay, nice and simple. Straight into the microwave. No mucking around here. Okay, so. 80 minutes and away we go. Okay. Okay, over here now, we've, uh, in, we'll put our butter in the sauce. And about one, two, five grams of butter. Quite a lot of butter, but there'll be quite a lot of flour as well. Okay, one, two, five grams of butter onto the hot plate there. That'll get that melted away. Then we'll add it's the same amount of flour, about one, six tablespoons of flour. And this is a measured amount that's 500 mils of milk. So butter first to make your mornay sauce, then the flour, and then the milk goes in in certain amounts. Just a trick I, I, I saw off watching a lot of cooking shows at the time. You're going to use the whisk to do the mornay sauce. It makes it beautifully smooth and consistent. See that that butter's in the process of melting right away. I'm actually going to take this off the heat merrily onto the cork that you like using to protect our, our benches. Leave the hot plate on. Six of these guys, six um, heat tapes, tablespoons of flour. I know that seems a lot, but there's a lot of butter and a lot of milk in this. I'm trying to make a decent sized mornay to feed four kids. Five, and one more, six. Okay, so there's the plain flour that's gone in. Whisk that straight through. As I said, you can see clearly that it's off the heat. Just getting that going, just, to, just, just n nice and easy like this. Just start to get it going through the butter. Okay, we're going to turn that down to a medium heat. Okay, see down here, Merrily? See, I've turned that down a bit for the cooking of the Mornay sauce rather than blasting it. We'll add one cup of milk, one of the two cups approximately. Just a touch more, David. And start stirring that through. As you can see, I've got about half the milk left over here. And that, and that will thicken very, very quickly. It's just a matter of keeping, if you want it to not be lumpy, you just keep on whisking that all the time. This is a reasonably labour intensive dish if you want to get the Mornay perfect. Okay, I can actually feel that thickening because of the flour starting to activate with the milk. You can actually see that's actually much more difficult to go through now. That's thickened right up straight away, which is exactly what I wanted. Now on to the other one cup of milk. Okay, and now it's a matter of continually stirring this now until that becomes nice and thick. That extra cup of milk will take a little while longer to get thickened. Okay, just want to show you how beautifully that's thickened up. I'm really happy with this mono sauce. It's one of the better ones I think I'll be lucky enough to make. It's lovely and thick. Okay, just note, okay, you can see that I've got the mono sauce now off the heat. Okay, completely off the heat. You always add cheese off the heat. It won't go stringy that way. So just a tip for you, take it completely away from the stove. I'm going to put the cheese in now to help make the Mornay sauce. Merrily's been kind enough to go at this. I've been pretty busy this afternoon. Okay, so we'll just stir that through nice and gently. And the sauce will gradually take up that cheese beautifully for us and melt it. Okay, you can see now that the cheese has melted through beautifully into our Mornay sauce. Can't wait to have a taste of this, guys. It will smell sensational. Okay, so I've flaked the tuna up a bit with, with the fork. I'm going to leave the brine in here. I am not draining the tuna. I like the extra brine in it, okay? So straight in. We stir this through a bit. Flake that a bit more. Stir it through. Okay, and you remember that I left the... the uh, You'll remember that I left the stove on low, so over here now that the cheese is put in, the tuna's in there, back to a low heat, and just keep that bubbling away nice and hot until such time as the rice cooked, which won't be very long. Rice is done, 18 minutes, cooked, drained, so we're going to plate that up. Okay, 
Mornay's been on the stove for a few minutes. Absolutely smells and tastes beautiful. Plate that up now. And there you have it. A lovely tuna Mornay with rice. Very simple. Kids love it. Good tasting. Good for them.